in this video I'll show you how to use the offline maps. I made a previous video where I was showing you how to download the offline maps in Google Maps, but I just realized that I didn't actually show you how you use the offline maps, especially when you have no internet. So the option is to download the maps. In Google Maps you press on your profile picture and then you choose offline maps here and you will have them downloaded here. You can add new ones. You can add you can add new maps, you can select a new map, you can add a whole city, even maybe a whole country. I think there is some limit for the size. But for the offline maps, I have Bucharest, for example, here as an offline map. So I could use a navigation in Bucharest. I could use the navigation in a city without internet. And I'll show you now. That this is the map in Cyprus now. And I will show you that I could actually use the navigation in another city and I could disable the internet. So I want to disable internet. I disable the Wi-Fi. And now we are on 5G. And I can also disable the 5G just to have everything offline. So it's all off now. There is no connection to the internet on the phone. And this, the phone now, if, if it will try to update something, it will I have the offline maps for <laughs> I have the offline map for Cyprus also but if you want to see traffic information of course you will not have traffic information because that's in real time many times you don't really need internet and you can see that it's offline you can see the phone is offline because I when I search it shows the offline option there so all these locations here they show me with the offline the cloud cut cut off cloud it means they are offline, but I can actually search for them. So I can see the whole map of Bucharest here. I can rotate the map if I wanted to with two fingers. So all this information is there. And I could even do navigation. I could do direction and Brasov, Romania from Brasov. And I could do now actual navigation on Google Maps. It shows me the it shows me the estimated time of arrival 184 kilometers and because it's offline I don't have traffic data but for sure if you don't have traffic data this might change because the traffic data will update the estimated time of arrival ETA to know like how much time you will spend on the road and you can have the step by step guide step by step information here or you could actually do the navigation. The navigation works. I tried it. I just tried it now. And let's choose the Limassol port. Let's choose the Limassol port here and direction this is in. And it, it will show that from my location here is going to be 57 minutes to the Limassol port. From Larnaca to Cyprus, this is the difference. And I can press start. The phone is offline. The map is now recentered and it will show the navigation with the voice as you heard it and the direction. It looks just like when you're online without the traffic. Before there were some glitches, some problems with Google Maps. It wasn't doing this, showing you the, the blue line. Like there was no blue line, but now it seems everything is fine. So you can share the progress with someone. If you're going together, traveling together with someone, that's a pretty nice option. You can show the traffic on map if you have internet later. You can always show this later. And when I enable the internet, it will it will show the traffic information. Now it even switched to dark mode and it's uh, it's all good. I mean, it's really working. It's really working. It's really working as you expected. And you have the blue the blue line that shows the the information. And it's also with the cloud like this cut off the cut the the forbidden cloud this means that this might not be as accurate as you think so it's a good option there so this is how i use the offline map it's all offline now let let's turn back the 5g and wi-fi let's see what happens so the internet is back on but it's it calculated this ro route so we can do an update and now when I'm back and it's updating, it also shows now with the internet, it also shows traffic information, even road works if there are some construction there and there is also busy areas. 
with the traffic is really much more useful. But it's always good to have Google Maps with offline, just in case when you don't have internet yet, until you get internet and then you can get more information on the map. Thanks for watching.